Hello and welcome back. Welcome back to Holopon Solo Sagas. And today we have an exciting car chase, well, tank chase, in Twilight 2000. So yes, welcome back. Uh, welcome back to Twilight 2000. Thank you very much for returning subscribers. And if you're not yet a subscriber, please consider it. And if you watch through to the middle, I'll say it again. So how did we leave our crew last time? So we were going to investigate those POWs and instead we encountered the outnumbered, which is King of Clubs, uh, encounter Soviet military, a convoy of Soviet forces is approaching the PCs. It's led by a BTR-70 APC with an officer inside, which is followed by two Gaz-66 trucks uh, with half tanks of fuel. If they spot the PCs, they will attack immediately. The BTR-70 is fitted with a KPV machine gun with one full reload. The convoy has a radio and some field rations. So we said that there was 20 men uh, split between the two gazes, 10 and 10, uh, five in the BTR, because this is what it says. Uh, there's five times the PCs and one times the PC, of which one times the PCs is in the BTR. You know, I'm just trying to catch you up. Uh, we uh, 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 rendered one of the gaz is useless uh, and the, uh, hit the BTR with uh, the RPG. Uh, which was Jacob, the BTR ki the RPG killed a large percentage of the crew, but the BTR was still functional. And we left the team with them about to set off down the road uh, heading north. I'll show you on the map. We decided that the crew was gonna uh, basically set off from uh, where they are here and set off up the road uh, heading north. Uh, and see if they could lose. I'm going to need to keep an eye on the cameras. They've been, they, they failed twice as I kicked them off. Uh, uh, heading north. Now, what I, I've worked out is each one of these, I'll now show you this map, which will probably go up here. Uh, each one of these hexes coming across this road uh, is uh, 10 meters, as we know. That's the scale that the uh, combat maps use. Thus, it would be 67 of these maps would mean it would be one of these hexes so but once we've cleared 67 of these we'll move on to the next hex so at the moment we are going to be racing uh across this part of, where's where's my pencil so you can show across this part of the map here and across this part, part, part of the map here so we can say i don't know 33 maps is from this part to here and then we've entered this hex here once we've done 33 of these maps which i doubt we will so what we have is we have our Bradley uh, can enter the battlefield. We can give our Bradley a one move head start uh, with the normal move and our normal combat speed is five. Uh, so our normal combat speed, we will enter, we'll go one, two, three, four, five. So we've done one move and we will bring the uh, BTR, which we'll have as this one, I can just edge on as it follows and then we will have the gas is following up straight afterwards. Now I've written down the gas and the BTR over here and we will use the drivers uh, to make a driving roll. Now how, uh, I'll do this first, how a chase, how the combat would work with a chase is the, the uh, each turn, the driver of the vehicle as a fast action can move the vehicle, the standard speed, which for the Bradley, is a five on road, four off road, it has tracks. Uh, the BTR, a four on road, three off road. The Gaz, a three on road, two off road. Uh, so each turn, as a fast action, you can move that automatically. You can make a driving roll if you choose to, as your standard action, I think, as your, your slow action, to then move the speed, your base speed again, with a hit uh, for an extra square for every hit that you get. But if you fail to get any hits, i.e. you fail that road, it's it's basically decided that you are stuck uh, and you have to put a stuck 
token on you. And what you are then, you then have to make a driving roll next turn to actually move, uh, to then move off of that point. So it, it's debatable whether it will be like at risk for our driver to actually make a driving roll or not for a chase. So I, it's a bit, bit all or nothing really from reading the rules. So I'm not too sure how that will go. But anyway, this is how we go. So the first thing we will do is we will pull initiative uh, to see what, what, who goes first, basically. What, what we'll do is we'll see who goes first. We'll do initiative between uh, each groups uh, and then they can do their move and then we can see how we would actually then go after the fact and what we'll do. And we'll go through everybody who's on board, who's still up, because I think Jane's out. So the Soviets go on a seven and we go on a four, which is lucky. So we will go through everything. So this is what, is this all we need to worry about? Yeah, so basically we have a running gunfight. We have a bit of a Mad Max battle going on. You can imagine it, we're traveling uh, north to try and escape them. We've got a Gaz, which is full of 10 men on the back. They're leaning over the sides who will shoot at us. That's, can you see that one? I think it's just slightly off camera, hold on. Beep. So that's this one here, which is which uh, is the Gaz, which will be following up. And then we have the BTR. Now, uh, the BTR has got two people, uh, one, one man driving, and the officer will probably be mounting the uh, uh, KPV, 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 on top. That's chasing, that's chasing. We are in the Bradley. The Bradley has a few things functional on it. I don't know whether the M240 can function at the same time as the main gun can. I am going to say it can. Uh, I, I'm, I, I tell you what, I'll quickly find out. No, apparently not. Well, they can in theory be fired simultaneously, but in practice, the crew would prioritize one weapon over the other. So most likely they'll be prioritizing the Bushmaster over the MT-40 to take out probably for the primarily the, uh, the uh, uh, BTR, then the gas and then follow up the gas afterwards. So we have us first. First off, we will have, so will Toby go first moving the vehicle? Uh, well, at the moment we are closer so we can say now, if I remember rightly, Jane is out for this combat. Although we could have somebody do something. Staff could tend to Jane and see if he can bring Jane around. We've got Jack who would be, Jack is not able to really be that useful. So pretty much we rely upon Toby and Jacob. Jacob is quite badly injured now, but he won't be exposed if he's using the, uh, uh, the Bushmaster. Uh, as he should be fully enclosed when using that, rather than the M240, which I think you have to semi-expose yourself from the turret to, mo to do the M240. I'm not an expert at this. <laughs> People who know much better than me can, can say if I'm right or wrong, but that's what I'll go along the lines of. So, at this point, we will have, maybe Jack is going to, I don't think any of the M4s are gonna be operational because they're out of the sides. So we're pretty much, uh, we'll just do, uh, ro uh, staff is gonna attempt to do a medical roll to see if he can stabilize Jane who got hit and her collar blown is broken. So he is going to check on Jane and make sure Jane is okay. Uh, we will have, someone had a med kit, yes. Toby has one med kit left. That is gonna be chucked across for staff to use on Jane, and then staff will see to McCoy next round. So this first round, staff will see to Jane, which is a D8 for empathy, a D6 for medical, plus two would go to a D8, D10. Uh, he gets no hits, but that's okay. Uh, it means that Jane doesn't come around, but Jane has been treated and isn't gonna get septicemia or anything. And then we have Jack. Jack has no medical, but Jack is, what is Jack gonna do? There's not a lot Jack can do really. Jack is gonna basically do stuff within the cabin, assisting 
uh, Jacob uh, operating the uh, the Bushmaster. So I don't know, loading and doing stuff as a, as a, as a vehicle operator. Then we will have Jacob. Jacob is going to fire the Bushmaster at the BTR, which has already taken a hit, but I, I don't know if I've, I think it just, I don't think the hit did permanent damage on the BTR, if I remember rightly. I think it, the, which makes no sense to me now when I think about it, but I don't think it did. I also don't think it even penetrated the armor. I don't know if I rolled to say you penetrated the armor. Let's say, did you penetrate the armor? No. All right, so he's gonna fire the Bushmaster at the BTR, which I don't think his reliability went down because I don't think it hit anything which did anything that, like that. I think it just killed inhabitants, it killed passengers, and it killed drivers. So, the uh, Jacob will fire uh, the Bushmaster at the BTR-70. Uh, he's going for the front armor, but it's four armor on all of the BTR. Uh, sadly, they're going to be hitting the rear armor of our Bradley, which has got weaker armor on the rear. So he has, so this is a uh, turret mounted weapon. Doesn't use strength, it uses agility, and his agility is a D10. He has a B for heavy weapons, which is a D10. The Bushmaster has a rate of fire of four, which gives us a three for the dice. Now, I think I've complete, I've always read that wrong. So what this says in the book is, you can add as many ammo dice for your tag as you like from zero up to the rate of fire of the weapon or the number of rounds left in the magazine minus one, whichever is lower. I've always read that minus one is coming from both, but it's not. The, the minus one is only from the, right, the number of rounds in the magazine. So that means, because this has a rate of fire of four, it uses four. So, uh, Jacob would be firing full, fully at the BTR. He's in a moving vehicle, which drops this by two, and the vehicle he's shooting at is moving, which drops it by one. And the range is uh, on the 25 millimeter Bushmaster, has a, ra a range of 30, apparently, yes. So he is quite in range. Uh, he gets one of them, but he will push this as he didn't roll any damages. Uh, nothing, okay? So he puts rounds into the area. They do need to make a cornice cool under fire roll. The officer will be the one. So the officer is on board. The cornice cool under fire they've got is a C. The soldier is a C. So a C gives them a D8, which they pass. Uh, we then have got Toby, so that's his go. Toby will do his move as a base move, and the base move of the Bradley is a five. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Now, will he make a driving roll? What is Toby's driving? Toby has a BB, D10, D10 for driving. He could try, I mean, it would put, put them right I mean, it would put them out of range. The more he does it, we can say, as soon as they've sort of cleared a thing, all right, I mean, otherwise they're stuck. Oh, Toby, don't fail. Okay, that's cool. So, so he got three hits. So that gives them another five move. One, two, three, four, five. Plus three. One, two, three. So Toby puts his foot down and really floors it. So they are gonna to have to really come and catch up. So first off, we'll then come, so that's that's the team's go. Uh, next, we'll go over to these. We've got the Gaz, which will move first. So that's a three. One, two, three. Uh, I mean, they could attempt to, <laughs> all right, this, might, this could be over quicker. Uh, they will attempt to do, yeah, he will attempt to do it. He's gonna to attempt to, to to catch up. So we'll say it's a Soviet soldier. Oh, they've got a driving. They've got a driving of C. So they have a driving of C. Uh, Soviet soldiers are driving of C and agility of B. No, okay, but it, oh, does that mean it's, okay, I'm gonna let him push. 
Uh, no, okay. So that, that, it gets stuck at this point. We we'll use that as stuck. Uh, and then they will do, uh, they are going to fire. So what do we have? We have, so the gas has hand foot, well, it's got 10 men in the back. We can say that the one carrying the, the RPK, because we said someone had an RPK, can get shots off. And the one, and we can say three of the AK-47 uh, wielders are able to get shots off. They will attempt to shoot. Now the probability of them getting anything through penetration is low, but one thing I did miss is there is a non-penetration table that we can roll on as well. So we will go, uh, for each of them, they have a driving of, uh, they have an, a, a B for agility and they have a C for range combat. Now they're moving, so that drops it down by two. So D8, D6, and they're moving, which drops it down by one, is D6, D6. So we'll do the three AK-47s first. I mean, their probability of doing any damage at all is all down to them emptying everything into this. So three, first shot. Uh, well, okay, so rounds ping off, but we'll, we'll count up. So we've got six, 12, 14, 15. So they empty half of that, nothing. Next one. Uh, we've got six, 10, 16. Oh, one hit. Okay, this this is this can do something now. So we've got, oh, hold on, those two. Oh no, they didn't even hit, did they? This hits and does uh, two points, three points, four points. So that's three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, seven is 19, but four points is the armor. So it hits and does four points, but the rear armor on our Bradley is four points. So there's no penetration, but we do have to roll on the no penetration table, which is a D10. Let's see what happens. Five, external stores. Uh, external stores. Any external stores are struck and a random item hit for effects on damage on gear, see page 91. I don't know, I don't know. I think they were chucking everything in the back, basically. I think that's just, it, it cracks off the side. But at least one of them gets a hit. Uh, next, we have the RPK will then open up on them, which has a rate of fire of four. We'll still say it's the D6, D6. Uh, a hit, but the penetrate, two, two points of damage is no penetration again. Doing, what's that, seven, 10, 14. Could, could it hit the tires, I guess? Oh no, it's tracks, isn't it? Oh, that is one. One track wheel. So that's the rear tracks. How's that come up? Track wheel can only be hit by side attacks for each point of damage in excess of half of the side armor. What if I go armor? The runoff rate of the vehicle is reduced by the level of the vehicle. Okay. Can only be hit by side attacks. Reroll. Oh, okay. We reroll. Five. That's external stores again. Nothing. So the only thing really would be the vehicle control system that or the weapon. Vehicle control system or weapon would cause them problems. Other than that, it's basically, it just pings off the external uh, of the vehicle. That is now the gases go. All right, so now we have the BTR-70. The BTR-70 is going to do its move, which is a four. So uh, one, two, three, four like going past that one that sort of, he's come off the side of the road. Uh, and then the, the dude behind, who is the driver, what did we say that was? That was a 10 and an eight, a 10 and an eight. He is gonna attempt to put his foot down because the officer is shouting at him to, to put his foot down hard. Oh, he gets two hits. Nice driving. Okay, and so he's got, oh, did I say four? four. Yes, four. So he does another four, he does six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he's put some massive distance 
uh, between that one and that one and he's now closed in a bit more actually there should have been uh, minuses for range on those ones as well uh, they didn't do anything anyway so the officer is now going to open up with the kpv so it's a soviet officer the soviet officer isn't significantly better to be honest uh, we're going to give the Soviet officer, we're going to say the range combat will work for the KPV, even though it's a heavy weapon. Uh, so that's a C. Uh, we have an agility because it's based on uh, the turret of a B, which is a D10. Uh, it's definitely within range, but it's a moving vehicle. So that come the D10 goes to a D8, the D8 goes to a D6. And both vehicles have moves, which goes to a D6, D6. The rate of fire for a KPV is four, so uh, the officer gets four dice, and the officer, I, I know the, the KPV fired last time, but I cannot for the life of me, I can't find in any of my notes a track of that combat, so I don't know how many rounds they fired. Uh, oh, that's not great at all. Okay, uh, he just fires off into the air. He, uh, what's that? So that's 10, that's 11 rounds, get burst out of his 40 round mag uh get burst out into the air uh all right i think that is it for, for them so we are round on to our continuing with uh our so this one dudes over here he's might be out uh we've got our little chase going on over here uh which actually uh, isn't over as quick as i thought it was going to be is everything still still running yep okay so we now are back with our crew. Staff is gonna turn his attentions. Now he's stabilized Jane. Jane is still unconscious because he didn't make roll any hits. So he's gonna turn his eye to, to uh, McCoy. He gets a D8 and a D6. Uh, probably we're gonna have to insist that he gets at least a hit. Otherwise, McCoy died because McCoy lost all of his hit points and it was a critical. Oh, he gets a hit. Okay, so uh, McCoy doesn't come around, but he is basically, he saves McCoy's life. Uh, he plugs up the wounds. He's sitting there doing everything. So whereas he just made sure that he strapped up Jane, uh, though really it should probably would have taken longer to... That's what he's doing. So during the whole of this, that's what Staff is doing. Staff is looking, seeing to Jane and seeing to McCoy. So once he's made sure that Jane's not gonna die because McCoy is bleeding out on the floor, he will then turn his eye to McCoy, make sure McCoy is okay, and then he'll go back to looking after Jane and strapping up her collarbone to make sure she's not gonna get anything worse. And then he'll go back. He's, he's basically busy seeing to these two and he will consume, uh, so I think they had a doctor's kit as well. He'll consume some of the resources from the doctor's kit and he'll consume the whole of that medical kit and he's tending to those and that's all he's doing. And maybe we can say that that's what Jack's doing. Jack is helping him doing that and looking after uh, Jane and making sure everything's going okay. So they're basically, that's what they're doing in the vehicle. If this was a, a group game, they would be a bit bored because they wouldn't be having much to do. It's mainly gonna be Jacob and Toby that's key to this because they're the ones who operate the Bradley anyway. So this bit is dropped in the middle uh, of the uh, the flow because I forgot to do this whilst I was recording. Uh, if you're enjoying what you're watching so far and you're not yet a subscriber, can I uh, ask, it would be lovely if you could subscribe. Uh, I produce these all the time and doing stories. If you could be a subscriber, you'll get to know when I produce the next stories. Sorry if this interrupts the flow of the story, but I forgot to do it because I was enjoying myself. Uh, and so hopefully you can subscribe and uh, join us and all other subscribers for continuing these stories. Sorry, we'll go back to me doing the story now. So we're back around to Tobes. So Toby, all we could do, Jacob could fire first. Oh no, it's got the range anyway, hasn't it? Uh, so Toby is gonna go first. Toby gets to move the base move again of five. One, two, three, four, five. He could turn down the crossroads. Oh, I know he's just gonna go straight. Uh, and try and lose them. I mean, he could try going cross country. Cross country, mind you, if this one makes a failed roll, he's all right anyway. Can you see both? Okay, so now Toby gets to try and make a roll to see if Toby can get some extra distance in. Toby's got his D10, D10 for driving. D10, D10. And Toby's wishing that he had learned off of Anna the driving skills. We need to have at least a hit, otherwise it's a stuck vehicle. 
One hit. One, one hit. Oh, Toby. Uh, so he gets to do another five. One, two, three, four, five, plus one. Uh, so Toby is down the end over here. Uh, we've got the, the that one's there. Now I'm going to have to count because we've ranges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. The range is okay for the Bushmaster. I just tilt this up a little bit. The range is all right for the Bushmaster, but it's it's getting to close to range for the KPV. So the Bushmaster is then going to. So Toby has done Toby has done his job brilliantly. Uh, Jacob now has to do his job a bit better, and Jacob has to try and open up uh, the Bushmaster on the BTR. Uh, again, we're a D8. Uh, sorry, we're a B D10. D10 because it's agility based and heavy weapons. Dropping by two because it's moving D8, D8. Dropping by one because they move D8, D6. The uh, Bushmaster has a rate of fire of four. So, good old Jacob uh, gets the, uh, oh, hold on, is it? Because does it have a, let me double check whether it's got a firing system. It might have a firing system. If it has a firing system, then he might get pluses on this. F, C, S, T, M. Fire control system, T, M, and it's thermal. So it does have a fire control system. C pages 84 and 85. Vehicle, uh, some vehicles mounted, uh, mounted with stabilizers. Okay, he doesn't take the minus two. Or he doesn't take the minus two because it has a vehicle control, so it has a fire control system. The fire control system can get damaged by being shot from the external. That's the bad thing there. The fire control system and removes the minus two, so that puts uh, the D10 back. So he only gets the minus one because the target has moved, possibly, or well, that even that might go. And he gets no range modifiers, so everything is resolved as though it was still within short range. Okay, so the only modifier is the minus one because of it because the target moved. So he's now targeting the uh, BTR. Nice. Okay, so he gets, so he's fired, so he's got four, so nine, 10, 11 rounds. He gets a damage of five, plus one is a six. So it penetrates the front armor and the BTR has a front armor of four. So it definitely penetrates the armor. I believe we ablate the armor as though we normally would, uh, which is still okay. Uh, so six so two points go through we do a where it hits roll uh, and a 10 that's not that's not awesome uh radio okay a typical radio is a reliability rating of one any exit damage rolls over to other components so one point goes through uh commander all right so that would be the officer and i think the officer was already hit so one point of damage goes through to the officer. Uh, in the torso, uh, his flak vest uh, would take it. It's only one point, so it hits the flak vest, uh, and that's it, really. That's a bit bit of a letdown, if you ask me. Uh, but the command, we'll put, I'll put down the commander. Oh no, but we do have, they need to make a uh, cornice under fire, which they fail. Okay, so. We do have that they, uh, I'll give them, I think this is a stuck token. That is uh, that they've failed a cornice under fire. So they've failed their cornice under fire to retaliate. Uh, and that's that, I think, which means that they're sticking their heads down because bullets have gone, come through the front armor uh, and they're putting their heads down. So that is Toby and Jacob. Jacob doing his job, Toby doing his job. Nice one, lads. We have the uh, BTR. The BTR can roll on its movement, which is four. One, two, three, four. But the officer uh, who's operating the gun can't operate the gun because uh, he's keeping his head down and the driver is uh, not putting his foot down because uh, he's, you know, there's rounds coming through the front of the vehicle. 
Now we have these lot. These lot are gonna to have to try and get out of this position, which means they're gonna to need to make a driving roll to successfully move the vehicle, which is a D10, D8. Oh, they do a massive success. So the driver gets the vehicle going off the road, back on the road. It does a three, one, two, three to move. Oh. Does that also then mean that they get to, oh, I think it just means that it moves, but that's what he's, so instead of putting his foot down, he's using his roll to move the vehicle, uh, its normal move. So the vehicle is rolling again. Now, uh, they've got range of six on theirs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, medium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I'm going to say that is long range. So they are going to attempt. Uh, I mean, this might be down. I think this is D6s. Single D6. Long range is minus two. So they were going from a D10, D8, minus two, D8, D6, minus two. D6, minus one, D6, okay. So, I mean, they can't, they can't actually penetrate the hole. Oh, they might do with the, with, with the rate of fire dice. We get three shots of the AK-47s out the back. They're just basically do it on show. You never know, they might all roll bullets. Uh, one missing, and we'll call that, he's empty. Uh, two missing. He's empty. Uh, three missing, he's empty. So all of them are empty, they need to reload. Then we have the RPK, which has one less rate of fire. Uh, he isn't empty. What's he used? He's used six, he's used 11. But he uh, misses as well. They've come out, that's done that. Back to the top, back to Jacob. So we'll shift this down a bit and then I'm gonna get another map and whack it on the end. All right, not perfect, uh, but there isn't another one of these long ones. The Bradley, so all the Bradley needs to do is it needs to get a map ahead of them and then we'll say that Bradley's got away because they'll just keep chugging. So we've got, <laughs> we've not even, we're nowhere near a hole with those big hexes. So it that moves five, one, two, three, four, five. And then Jacob will attempt to make his roll. D10, D10. Come on. One hit. That's good enough. That's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can you see that? It's right down the end. So there's a big distance now. He's really putting the distance in. If this fella here, uh, are they going to be able to make their roll? Yeah, yeah, they can this time because they spent their last go. Uh, uh, so they're no longer because they spent that go recovering, so they're no longer uh, uh, keeping their heads down. <laughs> so, that's Jacob flooring it. Then we've got Toby. No, that's Toby flooring it. Now we've got Jacob is gonna try and do his shot. Uh, D10, 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 D8. Rate of fire, four. Is that right? Yes. Uh, at the BTR. Uh, that's rubbish. So he can't push because he got two ones. So it's impossible to push anyway. Uh, so he's just used three, six, he's used 10 rounds uh, and just sort of basically vaguely fired in the distance. Staff screaming at him, uh, kill those, kill them. Oi, Jacob Blood. Bloody kill him, mate. You gotta get away from here. Uh, and that's that. Now we will switch back to uh, the, the BTR. The BTR driver is gonna do his four move. One, two, three, four. At some point, this is gonna be pointless because they're just not gonna be able to catch because they can't put the distance in. BTR driver is now gonna try and do his driving roll, uh, which is a D10, D8. Oh, there we go. 
and he fails, which means he, he goes off for a track. Uh, that this, I think this is basically it. This is, this is it. So this is the KPV now gets to have a shot, which is a range of 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 8, 9, 10, 9, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10
rounds are sort of pinging off. Uh, they're getting their heads down. I think what we can easily say is that Jacob has disabled the BTR. Uh, though one round, so the suspension has taken one round uh, damage. The BTR's reliability has dropped to four. Uh, and the KPV is out of action because there's no, am no ammunition left in it. Uh, main ammunition store is hit. If you, I mean, otherwise, we can say that that didn't happen uh, because the ammunition store can't be damaged. And then we just roll down and we say that the, the reliability took three points of damage uh, instead of that. And the reliability only goes down to two, uh, which basically means that the, the vehicle, we can. I, I think we can probably say, let's do a, a cornice under fire. And they fail cornice under fire as well. So it's stuck. Uh, Jacob has put rounds through it. The uh, uh, driver and the commander failed their cornice under fire. Though this thing was able to move off, the, uh, the Bradley uh, he's got, he's 11 hexes ahead, technically he's 11 hexes ahead. So the distance is now huge between these. I am going to uh, do an oracle pull to say that these are going to give up on the chase at this point uh, and they're just going to declare that that the Bradley is now gone and the Bradley's now rolled on. Now this is going to be, uh, if it is, let's see, we've got black suit, red suit. So the only way that this is going to, this was, this was a spades, this one, wasn't it? The only way that they will uh, uh, is a picture card spade. They are gonna keep pursuing, picture card spade. Uh, no, three of clubs. Okay, They've, they give up. Uh, I wonder what the odds are of the picture card spade. One in 17, apparently. One in 17. So, you know, I think, <laughs> I mean, that's all right, isn't it? It wasn't too low odds. We rep lick it. The crew, uh, well, I'm gonna turn the little one off now. So, uh, that one should be gone. The crew leg it, the uh, Bradley manages to survive against the running battle against the BTR and the Gaz. I don't know, like how often, if, if, uh, that's the first time I've done a running battle in, in Twilight 2000 type system. Uh, I think that was all right. Uh, it got a bit, possibly a bit boring for you. We would say that they would have left this area, they're in this area here. We will head to Trebinitia, uh, where Doc is, because Jack needs some treatment, uh, highly likely. Jane needs treatment. McCoy needs treatment. Everyone, I think, has got beaten and bruised and knocked about a bit. Even Jacob, Jacob, he's gonna need some treatment. Jacob's only got one hit point left because uh, of him firing the RPG up here. Now, we still know that there's potentially this POW camp down here. We still know there's this airdrop over here, and we still know that we're supposed to be getting over this line here. But I think coming back and asking for the services, we can tell Doc about this place down here. We can just say to Doc, we can see, we'll see, see how Doc's doing, because we may need to go here and get some, like everyone. Uh, Jane has got multiple critical wounds. People have got sliced for, slashed forearms with healing time. Everyone's battered about. We might have to go back here, lick our wounds, and then try and recoup to set back off. But I think that'll do for today. I think that's it. <laughs> that's it for today. We've had a bit. We've had a. <laughs> we've had a car chase, uh, and that'll be it. We really need to start heading quite drastically towards this edge here and find out what 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 we're supposed to do next, uh, which will then probably hint towards getting the. Uh, uh, hostile waters, which I think expands the map, but I'm not too sure if it expands the map in which direction. Uh, and then we'll find, I'll try and find out. If anyone knows, put it down and then we can, we, if anyone's got it, uh, let me know if it's any good and where the map actually goes to. Uh, Cause I would like to know which direction I should head to and use that map in the future time. Anyway, uh, I'll have to drop in the middle that little bit about subscribing cause I forgot to do it in the middle. Uh, thank you very much, because it was so busy with this stuff. Uh, thank you so much uh, for following. If you're a subscriber, you are much appreciated. Thank you so much. If you haven't yet subscribed, 
uh, and you have enjoyed what you've seen so far, although this wasn't <laughs> one of the more action-packed, dynamic role-play type things, uh, do subscribe. Uh, thank you very much to the Adventurers Guild. Uh, I very much appreciate uh, your, your, uh, your sponsorship, basically, your support. Uh, if you would like to support and join the Adventurers Guild, there's early access to videos, there's competitions, uh, there's some additional uh, members only content that's going up. Uh, and that's about it, really. Thank you very much. We'll have more role playing type interactions next game next week. See ya.